All right, base is loaded. Vlad <laughs> is now at the dish. This is horrifying. Also, that person is literally in a table right now, a cement table. Yo, I just want to say right now that these new 6th inning bosses are ridiculous. If we take a look at the brand new 99 MVP George Brett, he pretty much has maxed out contact. I know it's only 108 versus lefties, but that's still really good. He's got 97 and 83 power. The fielding is better than Chipper Jones. The unfortunate part is he only has 84, so even if you get him up to parallel 5, he's not going to have diamond fielding. Moving on over to the big boy Matt Kemp. Oh my gosh. I want you guys to remember that vision does not matter as much in this year's game. So even though he only has 69 vision, he is still going to be really good. He's got the good defense. He's got the the speed and then the most controversial player 99 Pedro Martinez his stats or attributes I should say across the board look fantastic but a lot of competitive players are talking about his low hits per nine 102 is still really 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 good but it's not 120 or 125 like the milestone cards and I think those cards serve a different purpose so to me 102 isn't that bad considering his pitch mix he's got the sinker he's got the 93 control I don't mind this card whatsoever I think that he's pretty good but we're going to debut these cards as they get unlocked because they kind of patched a method to where you can unlock them faster. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use the Tops Now team build because they came out with some goons today. Look at this 96 Jorge Polanco. I mean... He's essentially a poor man's version of that Francisco Lindor. And speaking of France, this card is Francisco Lindor, Andrew Velasquez, just without the switch hitting capabilities. They also have the 96 Ahmed Rosario, who can play a million different positions. And then also on the bump today, we're going to go with our boy Cal Quantrill, or as I call him, Cy Quantrill. And maybe this is where people have an issue because this card has a higher hits per nine than Pedro Martinez. So I 100% see what you're saying, but to say Pedro isn't good is I don't know, I can't get down with that. All right, well, we are facing a, another parallel for Jacob deGrom. I don't mind facing Jacob deGrom anymore because people just spam fastballs inside. As long as you can turn on it, you're fine. So this is my first time using Jaron Duran. He's one of my favorite prospects in baseball. I hope that he goes off. <laughs> well, that is a fantastic start. Perfect, perfect with Jaron Duran, who I call Grady Sizemore 2.0, so... Technically, Grady just went 466 to dead center. Ah, no, we struck out with Ahmed. Cannot be doing that. And then, <laughs> this dude needs to stop throwing fastballs low in the zone, because that is the second perfect, perfect home run of the inning. That one was 378 feet. That Jorge Polanco is going to be a problem for the rest of the year. He is so good. Yo, this Cal Quantrill. I mean, I don't even know how he fouled that off, but this car is nice. Do not botch this. I don't even remember who's at shortstop. Oh, yeah, it's Tim Anderson. So we have Jorge Polanco at second, Ahmed Rosario in left or something. Oh, my. I don't think I'm going to catch this. I don't think I'm going to get there. Oh, no, wait. Yes, I can because Brad Miller actually has some speed. Yo, straight up. I'm not even joking with you guys. Cal Quantrill, the Tops Now card, might be the best pitcher in the game. His delivery is flawless. He has really good control. He's got a sinker and a slider and a changeup. I'm loving it so far. It's only been one inning and he might be my favorite pitcher in the game. Yes. <laughs> what are you thinking? Friendly quit in the second inning after I hit two perfect, perfect bombs off your noggin? No. Why is this guy throwing fastballs down in the zone? He has one ball thrown and 15 strikes. Three of them have been in the exact same spot down in the zone at 102 and I'm not missing it. And I hope that he quits. All right, 870 now. That dude quit at 892. That doesn't make any sense. But what I was going to say is uh, now we can't use Cal Quantrill, which is very, very, very unfortunate. Okay, round number two. I'm actually going with a non-tops now pitcher just because I'm so close to World Series. I don't want to throw out someone that sucks. So we are going with Cliff Lee, and we are facing a full god squad. Of course, that's every single game now. Ah, that was nearly perfect to Trey Turner. Sebi Zavala is a beast. We threw out Trey Turner. That was a really good swing. Also, the game just got a little bit laggy. I don't know why that is, but that felt like not good. That was a great sentence, Fuzzy. Atta boy. Come on, you gotta catch this. I think that's Jaron. Oh, did he? No, whoa. J tag him, J just throw it, okay. Ah, perfect cutter and he doesn't swing. So this dude definitely has a better eye 
than anyone I've faced this week. Come on, change up. Dude, look how laggy this game is. Perfect change up. And he swings. Thank you very much. Kind of a scary first inning along with the lag, but we get out of it. No way that drops. No way that drops. Yeah, Byron Buxton is way too good. I don't know why I just swung at that. I'd rather face Jacob DeGrom than Tom Glavin. And then we... Uh, okay, that was good timing. Almost perfect, but our PCI wasn't even close. I don't like the start of this one at all. Oh my gosh. He, he's got to be upset right now. That must have been good, good. That's at least what I'm guessing. I could be wrong. Oh, <laughs> Good, good. And he chases the cutter away. Thank you very much. There's almost no way that this game does not close out on itself. We're definitely going to get a connection error at least once. Please stay fair. Please stay fair. I need that one. I didn't even make good contact. But because Mike Moustakis has such a buttery, smooth swing, it goes out. And then that is a perfect, perfect with Andrew Velasquez. This team is absolutely stupid it doesn't make sense how good their attributes are and i love it because you can get to world series pretty easily with the tops now squad and that is going to get in the hole the only unfortunate part is cliff lee's up now when he's not a hitter oh let that drop for me okay well that's fun and another strikeout that time on the curveball I don't know very many people that are elite with that Kyle Schwarber card. A lot of people struggle with his swing. I'm trying to cut out as much lag as physically possible, but it is freezing all over the place. I just want to get a strikeout against Tom Glavin, but I'm pretty sure he's about to get a base hit. Oh. Come on, you got to get there, Brad. Turn on the burners. Bamboo Brad makes the catch in foul territory. What a good start so far from Cliff Lee. Knock on wood. Come on. Look at Ahmed getting on base. There's absolutely no way he throws me out. 92 speed. I forgot he has 113 contact and 100 plus power. Um. Okay. As long as, as long as that's not a double play. Oh, God. I don't even know how he was able to get me to swing at that. Every time he throws the changeup or the slider, I am swinging out of my shoes. So he's probably thinking, do I go fastball? Do I go sinker? Do I go off speed? And he goes off speed. 92. Is it going to be enough? I don't even know who he has in right. Oh, it's Harper. This is going to be close. And we're there. The 92 speed pays off. That Rosario is going to be a problem as well. All of these cards are insane. Two hours later. Oh, my. Yeah, I'm not going to even try to catch that one. We're going to just make sure he doesn't get a double. Oh, Jaron with the cannon. Now nah, he's got one. Darn it. Um, okay, make sure he gets... To first, and he stays at second. Nice. Dude, with two strikes, you, you cannot not call that a strike. That is... No way. Oh, my God. Okay, at least throw it home so he can't score. This is getting frustrating. All right, base is loaded. Vlad <laughs> is now at the dish. This is horrifying. Double play. You have to turn this. You have to turn this. You have to turn this. Shouldn't have swung, buddy. Just missed it. Man. Jorge Polanco is 0 for 3 with 3 ground outs in the second gameplay. This, that hurts my soul. Also, that person is literally in a table right now. A cement table. Come on, Brad. If you don't catch this, I'm screwed. Because Cliff Lee just wanted to stand there. At least cover the bag just in case. Come on, Cliff. Make the play. a boy. Just one more. Okay. For whatever reason, the Cliff Lee curveball is not going down where I'm placing it. Because that was a perfect pitch. It goes up. a boy, Tim. That is going to be eight. No, that's Byron Buxton. God, he just hurts. Mm. That dude is a fun sucker right there. Byron Buxton catches everything. Um, me thinks that Andrew Velasquez might be, oh no, someone I can use for the rest of the year. Oh, oh, no! Oh! Okay, maybe that's even better. No, that's not going anywhere. How does that not even go to the warning track game? 
What are we doing? Okay, maybe I go one more with Cliff Lee, just because Bryce Harper's at the dish, and I'm scared. That's that's kind of why I was scared. Oh no, you're supposed to swing at that. I got yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. I gotta go, Gregory Soto. Cliff Lee's gotta come out now. Big time, Gregory. Oh no, not Byron. I, I hit him. Oh no, there goes the double play. Oh, throw it, throw it. Yeah, there goes the double play. Mm hmm. He do. He can literally take the lead on one swing. Double play, please. Come on, come on, come on. Adam, look at that flip. Another double play to get us out of a. What is it? Was the last time a base is loaded jam? I don't remember. Gregory Soto, I have finally figured out how to pitch with him. If you can just spam sliders all day long and hit your spot, you're gonna do well. We're gonna go with Jed Lowry in this at bat. He plays a billion different positions. He's got the great contact and power versus righties. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Ah, man, I am just swinging at everything in both of these gameplays. Come on, man. Ugh. Throw the pitch. Yeah, I don't know why he would go hard on that one. I don't even know how I was able to. Get back. I, 2-0 count. I thought he was gonna go fastball. The 96 miles per hour made it feel like a fastball, and then it was way outside. What a dumb but smart pitch. All right, we're gonna bring in Rob Dibble <laughs> and just hope something good happens. Just, I mean, when you're throwing a baseball made of cement, it's kind of hard to hit. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. This is gonna be a home run, a million percent. Let's go. I hope Rob Dibble is having a great day. Wherever he is, I hope he has a wonderful day and a very Merry Christmas in four months or whatever. Oh my, Tim Anderson. Did Tim Anderson not do it? Okay. And he has a one, two, three inning with Mo. All right, we gotta focus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The ninth inning. Come on, you gotta catch this, you big doofus. You big doofus. I don't even know who's in right field. Who the heck is that man? Now I remember Andrew Velasquez is in center field. Jaron Duran is in right because Andrew doesn't have a secondary in right or left. Now I remember. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not taking out Dibble. Oh no, um, okay, now I gotta go fastball up and away, which he's probably gonna tee up for a home run. Bye-bye. Well, the player of the game in game number two is Cliff Lee with six shutout innings. Does that say six? No, wait. Six strikeouts on two walks. Sometimes it's so confusing. Players of the game, we have Andrew Velasquez, Moustakis, both hitting home runs. We went 2-0 with the Top Snow squad. That team was really good. Also, I want to see if we made World Series. Okay, we only gained 18. I was at 870. There was no chance unless that dude was already in legend difficulty. But in the next gameplay, we will be going for a World Series. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe. And remember, 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to open up some autographs. See you guys there. Twitch.tv slash fuzzy from YT. Stay safe.